the South Dakota Power of Attorney. In this video, we will explain what types of power of attorneys there are and what you need to know when creating one in South Dakota. What is a power of attorney? A power of attorney is a document that allows you to legally appoint someone else to make specific decisions on your behalf if you need help or lose the ability to make decisions. It might also be handy when you need someone to handle your financial or other matters for a short period, for example, during your vacation or hospital stay. Someone who's giving authority is called a principal, while the person receiving the authority is usually called an agent or an attorney in fact. But some of the less common names also include representative, proxy, and surrogate. What types of power of attorney can you create? By duration, a durable power of attorney, which is used if you need a POA that will remain in effect even if you become incapacitated. In many states, the durability of power of attorney is presumed, which means the document is considered durable unless otherwise provided. A general power of attorney. This is used if you need a power of attorney that will expire if you become incapacitated by a certain date or once specific actions have been completed. It is usually used to lawfully deal with various financial matters on the principal's behalf. Types by the scope of powers granted to an agent. A limited power of attorney. This is used if you want to grant limited rights to a trusted person. Such a document can be used to let someone else take care of your routine related to personal, business, and financial matters. A general power of attorney. This is used if you want to cover a broad range of authorities granted to an agent in the document. Types by object. A vehicle power of attorney. This is used if you want to authorize an agent to act in regards to your vehicle on your behalf. A tax power of attorney. This is used if you need to delegate the authority to file your taxes to another person. A person can be authorized to file both federal and state taxes. If federal taxes are to be filed on your behalf, a statutory form or special federal form 2848 should be used. However, most states provide their own tax POA forms and do not accept the federal one. A child power of attorney. This is used if you want to hand over full or partial control over your child or minor to a person you trust for a certain period of time. A real estate power of attorney. This is used if you need to authorize someone else to perform single or multiple transactions in regards to your real estate. A medical power of attorney. This is used if you need a person who would deal with medical decisions related to your health care in the event you are no longer able to do it yourself. This POA can sometimes be combined with other medical forms, such as a living will or advanced health care directive. How do you revoke a power of attorney? Depending on the type of the power of attorney, requirements for revocation may vary. Generally, revocation of power of attorney happens when the principal dies. The principal becomes incapacitated for non-durable powers of attorney. The principal creates a revocation act. There is a special condition about the revocation date in the document. The purpose of power of attorney can be considered accomplished. The agent cannot continue acting as such and the document does not provide for another agent. And finally, a court appoints a fiduciary to revoke the document. Creating a power of attorney in South Dakota. In the state of South Dakota, to make a durable power of attorney, you need to clearly express your intent in your document, as otherwise it will be considered general and expire at a certain date or in the event you become incapacitated. In terms of signing requirements, the South Dakota Code of Laws sets out only one requirement, that is, the need for the principal to sign the document. However, to add an extra layer of protection to the document, it is wise to also notarize or witness it or both. For a medical power of attorney, the state law requires the principal to date and sign the power of attorney. Two adult witnesses or a notary public should also be present at the moment of signing the document and sign it themselves. For the tax power of attorney, only the principal's signature is needed. When it comes to statutory forms, the South Dakota legislature provides a sample neither for a general nor durable power of attorney form. But in the state code, you can find a sample living will declaration form. You will need it if you want to appoint a person who would make healthcare decisions for you when you can't participate in your own medical decisions. The sample form 
durable power of attorney for healthcare is also provided on the website of the State Bar of South Dakota. The South Dakota Department of Revenue offers to use a form SD-1285 on their website that allows you to assign another person to handle your tax-related matters on your behalf. Or if you seek a form that would allow you to delegate matters related to your motor vehicle or a boat to a trusted person, the power of attorney form called MV-008 provided by the South Dakota Department of Revenue will be handy. The state of South Dakota also allows for creating a springing power of attorney. Such a document is put in force only in the event you become incapacitated.